Hey there, want some quick advice? Fall in love, it could save your life. As it turns out, your health can really be affected by the L word. Let's talk about eight things that happen when you fall in love. Can it lower your blood pressure? Does love actually cure physical pain? Wait, love makes you feel drunk? We'll be talking about all of that and more. But first, are you looking for a new relationship? How about a little platonic love with your bestie? Watch until the very end and subscribe to our channel for great content. Love makes you feel drunk. We probably caught your attention when we mentioned that in the intro. What a great way to start. As it turns out, you don't have to attend that party on Friday night in order to feel a little tipsy. Have you ever heard of the word oxytocin? No? Well, allow us to explain. Also known as the love hormone, oxytocin is released during the bonding between two individuals, produced in a part of the brain known as the hypothalamus. Oxytocin is said to stimulate the mind so greatly, its effects are similar to that of alcohol. While the two substances target different sections of the human brain, the results are almost the exact same. Like an alcoholic beverage, oxytocin can make you feel cool, calm, and collected. If you're feeling stressed out, this can be a lifesaver. Along with relieving stress, oxytocin is also said to cure shyness. This can be compared to the so-called liquid courage acquired after consuming too much alcohol. Now you know why Beyonce sang that she's drunk in love. Love causes your skin to change. Now for all you sci-fi junkies out there, we're not talking about aliens. Leave shape-shifting for the UFO channels. What we're talking about is the notable glow given to your skin when you're excited. Remember the love hormone from a second ago? It actually has more than one function. After falling for someone, your adrenaline forces oxytocin to create a blend of oxygen and nutrients. This rush will make your face's capillaries become dilated, resulting in a clear, rosy face. If you want to look younger, there's no need for any surgery or Botox. Just spend more time around that special someone. Love causes speech problems. How does this differ from being drunk? I don't know about you, but I recall slurring my words after a few strong beverages. We're about to throw another fancy hormone your way, so be prepared. The word is norepinephrine. Say that five times fast. Norepinephrine triggers your nervous system once released. This can come as a challenge when your crush is present. We've all been there, right? You're sitting in a room and out of nowhere, the person you've fallen for enters. While you may be hit with a rush of excitement, you also feel incredibly anxious. This person doesn't even know you exist and here you are lovestruck. What happens if they actually start speaking to you? Well, due to your increased heart rate, you may experience loss of memory as well as a case of the tied tongue. This is known as cognitive dysfunction, one of the many symptoms brought on by norepinephrine. Just remember to stay calm, breathe, and try to relax a little. If you're feeling too unstable, you may want to seek help. Too much of the hormone can cause panic attacks. Love gives you the sweats. Let's keep talking about norepinephrine for a second. It's so fun to say, isn't it? The hormone actually has other effects aside from slurring your words. Try sweaty palms. But wait a second, I thought we were going to talk about the good things love has to offer. Slurred words and panic attacks don't seem all that appealing. You're right, but we're taking a quick detour, so hear us out. When your crush is present, your excitement level causes the blood in your veins to flow into the brain's pleasure center. The norepinephrine combined with adrenaline will cause your palms to sweat. This can make things super awkward if you happen to be holding hands. Your blood pressure can lower. Now, to make up for the panic attacks and sweaty palms, let's talk about another benefit, shall we? Yes, it's true. Just being around a person you care about can decrease your blood pressure. Did you know that married couples are proven to have lower blood pressure than those who are unmarried? In one study, a single person who isn't involved in a romantic relationship was said to have a 14.4% increase in blood pressure. One thing is for sure, life is stressful. The amount of everyday pressure you endure can put you at a risk of a heart attack or kidney failure. 
If you can open yourself up to a romantic relationship, try your best to do so. You experience loss of appetite. Okay, I appreciate your insight into all the health benefits and whatnot, but what is this? Falling in love makes you not want to eat? That's just enough to discourage me from never getting into another relationship. Nothing but flings from here on out. No, just listen for a second. This is simply one of the early stages of falling in love. It really does get better, we promise. Along with the slurred words and nervousness associated with meeting your crush, you may be feeling a funny sensation in the pit of your stomach. These are the famous butterflies everyone talks about. These butterflies are brought on by a little something called cortisol, a natural steroid hormone that increases when feeling excited. Your brain then activates a nerve that flows all the way down to your stomach, giving you that slight tickle inside. This is just enough to make you not want to touch your plate, but not to worry, it shouldn't last long. You feel less physical pain. Now let's get one thing straight. Just because you're in love doesn't mean you can waltz into oncoming traffic. However, having a healthy, passionate relationship is said to rid people's bodies of pain. Ready for three more fancy words? Your ventral medial prefrontal cortex is the part of your brain that puts you at ease and makes you feel safe. When developing a crush, the level of excitement you're experiencing acts as a painkiller. If you stub your toe or accidentally hit your knee, your brain won't register pain as quickly as usual. Who knew romance could be this powerful? Studies have shown that simply looking at a photo of your significant other can increase the level of activity in happier parts of your brain. So much so that moderate pain decreases by about 40%, while severe pain decreases by as much as 15. Just a side note, until they prove love helps grow arms or legs back, try not cutting your limbs off. Decrease in blood pressure, glowing skin, less physical pain, I guess I was wrong. Love actually does have some cool benefits. Love can increase your life expectancy. Sure, low blood pressure and less pain would be pluses in anyone's book, but a longer, healthier life? Sign me up! Did you know that people in committed relationships are less likely to be depressed? This balances out chemicals in their body and increases their chances of living longer. Hang on, you're saying that in order for me to live into my 90s, all I need to do is have a long-lasting relationship? Possibly, but make sure you're in a happy relationship first. Happy is the key word, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go back to the love hormone one more time. During a happy relationship, oxytocin triggers positive emotions in the brain. This helps drop your cortisol level, making you feel more refreshed. Over time, these chemicals will help your body become healthier, lowering your mortality. There's also a lesser rate of Alzheimer's, diabetes, and heart disease in married people. For information on things that can decrease your life expectancy, why don't you check out our video on 7 things that can shorten your lifespan? It may have you looking at your lifestyle a little differently. Love can stop you from getting sick. Did you know that happy couples have less annual visits to the doctor? Better yet, did you know that positive emotions can cause physical wounds to heal quicker than usual? The feeling of affection can give you a feeling of purpose, reassuring your brain that you are loved. The chemicals and nutrients flowing through your body provide a boost in your immune system. This helps your cells fight bacteria and illness. With that said, colds and flus are always around the corner. So unless you're super confident in this research, I wouldn't go around touching random dirty handrails. Just a thought. Are you currently in love? Sound off in the comments section and don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe for more great content from your bestie. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.